Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Assalamu alaikum. Well, guys, these days, mostly IELTS speaking test is conducted remotely. Remote speaking test is that there is a big screen. You go there, examiner is on the screen, they give you headgear, and you have to perform your IELTS speaking test. This video is all about remote IELTS speaking. I'm going to give you the practice, and if you practice with me in actual exam, you will have no trouble. Uh, before you practice, you should have pen and paper handy, so that when I give you cue card, uh, speaking part two, you could write down some notes. For speaking part one and speaking part three, when you answer, remember this three-step formula, DEC, direct answer, D for direct answer, E for elaborate your answer, C for conclude your answer. Don't give me irrelevant answers, indirect answers, okay? And try to sit alone somewhere and use headphones or hands-free and whenever I ask you a question, there is the countdown timer. Answer every question and try to make at least five to six sentences. If you finish your answer before time, wait for the next question and try to sit like you are sitting in actual exam. Then you will enjoy most. Let's make a start. What's your good name, please? Aha, uh -huh, that's a sweet name. Do you work or study? Hmm. Mm hmm. All right. So let's make a start. What do you like to drink with your dinner? Do you drink a lot of water every day? Do you prefer drinking tea or coffee? If people visit you in your home, what do you usually offer them to drink? Do you like different drinks in summer and different drinks in winter? All right, now let's move on to IELTS speaking part two. And for IELTS speaking part two, I'm going to give you a topic. I will give you one minute to read the topic and write down some notes. And after one minute, you will have to speak on that topic for one to two minutes. Your topic is describe a monument, for example, a statue or a sculpture that you like. Okay, you have one minute to read the topic and write down some notes. And after one minute, you will have to speak on this topic from one to two minutes.
You will now have to speak on this topic for one to two minutes. All right, let's move on to IELTS speaking part three. And I'm going to ask you some questions. What kinds of monuments do tourists in your country enjoy visiting? Do you, why do you think there are often statues of famous people in public places? Do you agree that old monuments and buildings should always be preserved? Why is architecture such a popular university subject? Or why do students like to study architecture? In what ways has the design of homes changed in recent years? To what extent does the design of buildings affect people's moods?
All right, guys, that's all. Thank you so much. That is the end of your IELTS speaking test. Okay, that's great. So please, I look forward to your feedback on this speaking test, the way you felt. And even you can give me some suggestions for further improvement. Because, you know, I am here, you are all over the world, and I'm trying to help you out without going to any coaching center. I want you to appear in IELTS exam and get your desired band. So for that, I'm doing all these efforts, okay? So your suggestions, your feedback, your recommendations will help me improve what I'm doing. All the best, guys. I also teach IELTS online all over the world and in campus in Lahore and one week before IELTS exam I offer IELTS master skills webinar if you wish to be the part of this uh, webinar online classes you can contact me for that we also offer IELTS test booking service and our experts experts on PTE they offer PTE classes also so if you want to get any of these services you can contact me for that Asad Yaqub truly wishes you all the best take care with your IELTS preparation Allah Hafiz